Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Aurora Plays Pathfinder Kingmaker. I'm your humble bard, Tim. In the previous session, we did quite a few things. We helped um, find the first crown in the Castle of Nyes. We visited the White Rose Abbey and found there's a lot of dead bodies hidden underneath um, a lake there. It looks like uh, the King of Pitax has been disposing of his um, rivals there. Uh, and the person that is in charge of Pitax has, uh, well, the King of Pitax has sent uh, an envoy saying that he wants my crown. So it looks like we're finally going to be able to get into Pitax in order to uh, confront him. Another thing that happened was that we met up with a an order of people at the Castle of Knives for the spot to rest. at the Castle of Knives that sent us on a bit of a wild goose chase in order to complete their uh, quests to, uh, to, to solve their order. The first one was we had to just pass a bunch of skill checks. The second one was that we had to go and basically avoid ourselves getting killed without attacking the bad guys. The third one I did off stream, what happened was that you had to go to a, a location on the very far side of the map, and then the guy, say, guy there tells you to go all the way back to the, <laughs> the, uh, the Castle of Knives. And then he says, good job, well done. And then they give you a little bit of a trivia quiz, and then you complete that, so... That's what I just finished doing, and now, well, first things first, we probably should have a rest. Now, there's a couple of things we need to do, actually, while we're in Pitax. Um, so I'll see about that as, oh, I must be nervous, I screwed up the cooking. But uh, let's see what we can do. So, yes, we can finally go in, all right. Because we've got to deal with the... Um, uh, there was a person we had to confront who tricked us into attacking the um, uh, people at uh, the uh, the bridge, saying that they were pirates. So we've got to meet that person as well while we're here. So, all right. so I'm wondering, is this going to be... I was right. So this is actually very much like our our capital. Uh, so we've got the academy, we've got the port. So let's actually head to the academy first, because we've got Lindsay that we need to... I've got this book. Um... Oh, well, what kind of performance we expect today? Uh, the capitulation of a king, Aurora, in face of the luminous Irabeti, or something else? Who are you? I am Dre Yarant, high priest of Callistra. The patron of the city. I also command the temple guard. If I oppose Irabedi, would you support me? Uh, why? Irabedi prays to Callistra himself and donates generously to the temple. With him in charge, the city has become much more cheerful than it used to be. Why would I wish to see him deposed? Uh... All the members of the families kidnapped by Irabedi are dead. Their bones lie at the bottom of an underground pond in White Rose Abbey. So he did kill them. That does change things, but not for me. Irabedi has been much more generous to our temple than any of the trade houses ever were. Uh, I have proof that he intentionally bred monsters. Oh, that's quite like him. Yes, oh god. Ah, crap. All right. Probably should have just taken the diplomacy check. Uh, gone is the confident well-groomed playwright who approached you at the Rushlight Tournament. Um, uh, ah, this is the guy who sent us to defeat the Ruin Pirates. All right. His pale... Uh, is pale and wan as though he had not slept for days. He shakily runs his hand through his hair as you approach. It's a terrible mistake. I've, I owe you an apology and an explanation. He holds up his hands as if to request patience to, uh, or ward off a blow. 
Welsh Calavay, the magistrate, knows uh, that I have a way with words. Wouldn't think uh, that now that I'm stumbling over myself. He may be cruel, he may be devious. I think he wanted to test my loyalty and eliminate rivals at the same time, so he recruited me as a spy. It seemed natural that with my husband and the guards, I just refuse. <sighs> make, yeah, make me look like a threat to the state. The king is already putting the squeeze on the city guard hard enough so uh, that would threaten my Talwin too. Now I've uh, concocted a story to get you to attack someone on the pretense of piracy, knowing that it wasn't true. You need to get out of here before there's more trouble. I'm going to do what I can to make it right, though. Fast as you can say. Oh. Aurora Borealis! The shout approaches from one, her voice uh, sizing all the other... Da, 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 da. Uh, it's the woman who we were killing the... Uh, so. You have the gall to show your face in petax after what you did to me, a brazen attack on the kingdom's uh, river against one of its eminent trade houses, and now you gallivant about while snubbing justice. Several of her personal guards array themselves behind her, Watching grimly at the same time, onlookers begin gathering to see what's happening. You attacked my shipmates, my family, and my crew members. Oh. Oh, it's all happening here. Stand aside. Make way for the King's Magistrate, the Honorable Welsh Calavay. Uh, Sergeant Telwyn Hamilton, keep the peace as I handle these miscreants. As for you, it is convenient that you have... Spent us the trouble of arresting you and sentencing you. How dare you show your face in pitax after launching an unprovoked attack on the Riversong Trade House, lifeblood of our city and pride of our kingdom. You have slain our people and threatened the prosperity of every citizen gathered here. It was not his fault. I accept responsibility for. Listen, now this village has begun poisoning the minds of our... Oh, this villain. You bastard. Yes, proud citizens of Pitax from this forest grant stems all these ills. Sergeant Talwin seems baffled by what's happening, looking for guidance from Iamar. The latter looks back with sad resolve. But we're civilized and high-minded people. Let us hear from the accused. Uh... uh. This man, the playwright, he betrayed us. No, Ekandir. This man, the playwright, he betrayed us. He hurt Renshala. He made us into bandits. Let him take the blame for his mistakes. Uh. Mm. Yeah, let's try that one there. Prove that I didn't do it. Ah, the red-handed criminal questions the judicial system very well. How do you refute state's accusations? Um, you warn Renshala of the impending attack, not from pirates, but from me. It's as though you had hoped I would attack her and incriminate myself. I was prepared to condemn you for theft and murder, yet it's no trouble for me to add forgery to the counts against you. And even so, it was my sacred duty to protect the people against the foreign pretenders, predators from your lawless land. Uh, the playwright asked me to attack. Uh, it's true. I, I concocted the story to get Aurora in trouble. Uh, we would not be here now if it wasn't for my deception. All right, well, tell me who made you do this. Uh, well, Calavay approached me, demanding that I trick Aurora into attacking the convoy for the good of Pitax. What I thought was the first service of the kingdom well, has endangered our people and the innocent man before us. Lies and slander! How easy it must be for a playwright to spin such a web of falsehoods to confuse the listener and betray his neighbors. No, good people of Pitax, Eomar Descap was born not uh, in our fair nation, but in Taldor. Uh, where intrigue and backstabbing are second nature. It should come as no surprise that he would find kinship in the spirit, a kindred spirit in Aurora Borealis. Um, you told me the so-called pirates uh, 
Judge Kelvoy. Well, uh, what could you have? Uh, of course, I warned you against the pirates. King Irvetes, yes, blah, 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 blah. And, okay. I did not do it. I concocted the story to send Aurora to attack Viscaris. We would not be here if it weren't for my deception. I am a discount set full responsibility for what followed. The bloodshed, the loss of property, and the slain Pitax pride. Very well, EMR discount. The court hears your guilty plea and has decided not to pursue any further punishment against Aurora Borealis for the worst of his crimes. For his treachery, the playwright shall rot in the dungeons that await the king's justice. As you can see, there are citizens who would threaten the peace with their treachery. And we must all remain vigilant and root them out before they bring ruin upon us all. If there is any other traitors among us, let this man's fate be a reminder of what awaits him. Sergeant Telwyn, arrest this man. Uh, Telwyn stands rigid in shock, his body quivering as he looks from the magistrate to EMR. To the guards and then to you, EMR is nodding to him sadly. But it's clear that the sergeant is struggling with his professional duty and Emma's sorrowful acceptance of what's happening. Talwin, is this really justice? I refuse to arrest this man. What you demand is not justice, Welsh. Ooh. Then we are arresting two men today. One for treachery and one for treason. Guard, subdue this miscreant. I shall fight alongside you, Talwin. It was my fault. I was ready to accept the blame. But you never blame me for anything. I, I don't understand, but I'm grateful. You could have abandoned me to suffer for my wrongdoings, yet you shielded me. Oh, and forget this. Uh, oh, we get armor. Cool. I don't understand what just happened, but I'm sure my husband will be happy to explain it to me later. I can tell you, I can tell that he was in trouble, and you stepped in to protect him where I might not have been able. I appreciate that so much, and I want to know that... We guards are outraged outrage with King Irovetti and his ever crueler policies. I think uh, Welsh might have wanted to provoke me into revolt and use it against the guards. Anyway, please take this before uh, I'm going to inform. All right. Well, that was convoluted and very wordy. I'd be overjoyed if not for the deaths of all my people. However, thanks to you, justice was served. This makes us even. All right. Now, I've got to drop Lindsay's book off as well. Uh, what do we have here? That's pretty cool. So it's plus four chain mail. Ooh. No, no, it's already got plus four Q curious. All right. Nice. Oh yes, we got this helmet as well uh, from completing the uh, the other task. Uh, wisdom and immunity to stun and daze any creature attacking the wearer's make a so will save. Hmm. There we go. Uh, so we've come to give your crown to Irvetti after all. Don't worry, his highness will take good care of your lands. Now, if you knew what I know about Irvetti's business, you wouldn't be serving him. Really? And what do you know? I have proof that, uh... No, see, 
He brought a whole army of bards into a little town and used them to crush his enemies. So, that's where my best students are. That means he created an academy not for the love of the arts, but to train a new branch of the military. What an outrage. What you've told me is troubling, but... It's between me, his highness, and my own conscience. I, you won't persuade me to betray my patron. This conversation is over. Fuck! Oh, no celebrated of all Protexian bards approaches you with a sweet smile. Just listen to her, how loyal she is to her protector, how much she and her students owe to him. It's disgusting to hear this spineless creature crawl into her master. Oh, you seem to really hate your Why is that? For the same reason he is hated by every Protexian girl, boy, unlucky enough to catch the stinking pig's eye. He doesn't take no for an answer. This whole city is his personal harem. Ooh. When he failed to seduce me, he tried to buy me. And when he failed to buy me, he tried taking me by force. When he failed to do that too, he tried to put a spell on me using a strange artifact. Praise Callistra, the magic didn't work, but I swear to the goddess what I wouldn't give to have my revenge. Uh, what is this artifact? I don't know, but it's a piece of driftwood or perhaps a wooden sword. Oh yes, he was swinging that wooden sword around, talking crazy. Uh, but in a nutshell, the pig invented, invited me for a romantic dinner, struck me from behind and poked me in the back with the stick. I don't know what he expected, but it didn't work. I immediately realized he was trying to put a spell on me, and I was consumed by such rage as I've never felt in my whole life. I was ashamed to recall the scene I made. I screamed, flipped over the table, splashed him with wine. <laughs> you know what? I'm not ashamed at all. Uh, the look on his unshaven snout dripping wine, it was a very pleasant memory. All right, so what do you want from me? I have a business proposal for you. I have influence in Pitax. If I rouse the students of the academy to rebel against Iriveti, no one will listen to the old hag, uh, Talia. It's a few hundred healthy boys and girls, many of whom will magic. Trust me, you'd prefer them fighting for you than against you. And in return, in return, I ask you keep the academy open. Oh, absolutely. Wearing colorful feathers and singing sweet songs doesn't change a cobra's nature. Don't listen to that song. Don't let her infatuate you. Uh... Help me rouse the bards to uh, rebel against Irovedi, and I'll make sure uh, make you the academy's new headmaster. You won't forget it. Um, we shall meet in front of the palace. Now I must speak with students. All right. Uh, is there anything else that I need to do while I'm here? No, it's just Octavia. All right. Uh, all right. So where's this book? Okay. Yeah. So I can't sell the book. Um, yeah, that's, that's the book. So look at how do I show the book to people though? OK. 
Okay. I'm there. Yep. Good day, your highness, for the moment at least. I didn't expect you to show your face here. Well, will you allow me to give you a piece of advice? Uh, perhaps what you say will help me change my mind. Perhaps, but I wouldn't count on that. You know, it's the city you're loyal to, not the king and his cronies. Well, I'm your only chance at saving Pitax from the Thieves' Guild and the drug trade, you know. Promises, promises. Where's the guarantee after you gain the crown? You won't get in bed with the Thieves' Guild. No, your highness, I'm not playing these ga games. Listen, I have nothing against you personally, but you're walking straight into trouble. Leave while you can, or I'll have to arrest you for disturbing the peace. Oh, okay. I do what I must. Me see, me keep. Oh. A trapped box, eh? That was easy. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Uh, there you are, Your Highness. Here, everybody's expecting you to bend the knee, but I suspect you have other plans. Uh, assuming I oppose Irovetti, will the old family support me? Uh, you can count on help from the uh, Kenza family, but regarding the other trade houses... I tried to unite them many times, but the stubborn fools would sooner die alone than triumph united. I have no idea what might get them into line. So, what I'm going to tell you will persuade the other trade houses to join the rebellion. I'm all ears. All the members of the old families kidnapped by Irvedi are dead. Their bones lie at the bottom of the well. By the god, that's unheard of. I'll immediately dispatch my people to the Abbey and other families. If it's true, then Irovetti will face blood vengeance from all the families. I have to go. Keep your eyes open. All right. Looks like we got another ally. <laughs> A trivial task. A trivial task. I'm off. That was easy. So it reached the kind climax of your tale at last, admitting his failure, the brave but alas inept ruler delivers his crown, crown into the hands of the wise old friend. At least that's how I'll write about it in the Chronicles, but we both know that the only thing that matters, you aren't the first, and you won't be the last to lose all you possess to my master, but I must admit, you were a worthy adversary. Uh, well, you're right about one thing. Only one monarch will hold their crown by the end of the day, but it won't be Irovetti. Actually, let me tell you something. Uh, Alright then, well. You simply won't give up, even in the bitter end. How amusing. Well, we shall see who prevails. Go now, my king is waiting. Save this before it happens. Ho oh, ho. Well timed. Well, hello, King. I'm glad to see that despite your utter failure as a ruler, <gasps> you did listen to the voice of reason and made the only right decision. Give me your crown and swear allegiance to me. I promise I shall rule your lands wisely and mercifully. You know, I'm curious. I actually want to see what happens if I give him the crown. So henceforth, I shall be the king of Pitax, as well as the Shrike Hills, Varnhold, and the adjacent territories. Here is my first order. 
for his multiple crimes, the deposed king is sentenced to death. Oh, that's unfortunate. The sentence will be carried out immediately. <laughs> Guards, take him. Your Highness, I won't let step near you. Oh, thank you. Students of the Academy, it's time for us to check our benefactor for King Innovetti. I stab thee in your mine own back, bitch. Ooh, listen to me, students. Today we'll be rid of that buzzard for King Aurora. Oh, yay. Oh, he buggers off. City guards, suppress the riot. Protect the king. Old families, founders of Pitax. Today is the day of a reckoning. Destroy Iravetti for King Aurora. River Blades, go. Get Iravetti for King Aurora. Where is it? Oh, okay, I'm still wearing my crown. May Kalistra bless the king. Temple guard. For his highness, Sierra Verti. All right, so the idea was to decide who... Uh, Thieves Guild, if King Aurora wins, we'll all be hanged. Bring me his head. <laughs> right. Hey! right, okay. So let's see what happens if I do the thing that I was going to do. What I figured would actually happen would be that uh, they would just play game over. <laughs> That's sort of what I was hoping would happen, but I was wrong. All right. But it also says something about the oh, the thieves guild. But, uh, well, hello, uh, King. Uh, I'm glad to see that despite your utter failure as a ruler. You did listen to the voice of reason and made the only right decision. Say, Lasconi, attack him as we planned. Bring me Irvetti's head and I'll make you governor. Um, what? What? <laughs> but, but, your highness, don't listen to him. I'm still loyal to you. That's interesting. You too, Lasconi? You must have betrayed me. You won't get away with this. Oh, there you go. That's something that works. You know what? Screw this. For King Aurora! <laughs> so you get one more ally. Alright, student to the academy. Time for us to protect our benefactor for King Iravetti. As she gets stabbed in the back. I stab thee with mine own heart, bitch! <laughs> Listen to me, students. Today we rid that old buzzard for King Aurora! Yes, press the right for King Irivedi. Old families found us a pedex today at the day of a reckoning. Destroy Irivedi for King Aurora. Uh, yes, the River Blades. There he is. Go get Irivedi for King Aurora. And we got the Thieves Guild is on the other. Yes, the Temple Guard and the Thieves Guild, those are the ones that I couldn't turn. Bring me his head! Fun times. All right. I am never wrong. Who is there to chat with? No. No. All right. Just a lot of stuff to go through.
Actually, you know what? Pick up everything. Let's just very quickly go and uh, sell everything to the, uh, that was easy. the pirates. Then we'll go and attack. <laughs> Let's go kick down the door and get ourselves a crown. I'm there. Oh. I don't feel up to it. Mm. Look, it's King Aurora Borealis. What a coincidence. Do you know how much Uriveti promised for his head? Oh, I've got a lot of money on my head. Can we handle him? Doesn't look like he'll go down easy. I never go down easy, except with the ladies. Don't be a coward. We'll manage. Hey, you, in the name of King Anavetti, surrender. I'll never surrender. So we knew it wouldn't be that easy. So we're going to try and find a way into that room, I guess. And as with everything, we start by going left. Oh. Did it without breaking it. Good work. Oh, here we go. Let us strike as one. Let us fight back. Best kind of fight. Oh, alright, there's a trap here. Everyone pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. <laughs> Bring the trolls in here. Tear them apart! <laughs> Ah. 
Ow. Ow. The fuck is this? Echo is a monster. Grotus awaits us. So what does this guy have in his pocket? Uh, e, a bastard sword. And full plates. I think Valerie's already got the plus four. Yeah. That armor kind of looks better though. So who the hell was that guy? Look ahead. Ooh. Okay. I was expecting like the wall to spin or something. Done, Harem, you're not insane. Good work. I'm off. Ooh. Maya's charm. What does that do when it's at home? Uh Oh, okay, it's a magic person ability. Oh, hang on. Is there any other way out of this room? Any more doors? Nope. All right, next room then. I'm there. The old families have started to riot. Street fights are spreading up all over the city. We can't hold down the uproar. Irvetti's lost uh, his grip. It's clear as day. And that Aurora Bo Borealis? Did you see him handle Villamore? Oh, we've set a chance against him. He's almost here. Run while you still can! Uh... You cowardly useless fools. Uh, did you not eat the loyal, the royal food, drink his wine, stuff your pockets with his gold? Now you'll stay and fight for him. I'll eat the face of anyone who tries to escape. He's a were-rat. Uh, 
<clears throat> Those who don't wish to die for Iribeti may go. The others, to arms! Ah! Aurora, I'll eat your liver, gnaw out your guts, and suck the marrow from your bones. Alright, everyone fall back, please. Draw them into the kill zone, and attack. Got him. Ooh, sky metal. Plus eight braces of armor, short sword, and a lot of really cool things. Look ahead. That was already dinged, so what got dinged? <laughs> Not friendly, okay. Who are you? What right do you have to talk to me? Uh, okay, let's see what happens if I nick some of your stuff here. Empty. Let's finish them quick. Oh no. Friggin' mimics. Oh, another piece of sky metal. Excellent. Looks like I'm on the path to finish these braces by the end of this mission. Secret door. Oh, hello there. Quickly, quickly, stop fussing. Just grab everything. We'll decide what's valuable later. I, I, I think someone's coming. Actually, no, we're already here. Hello. Uh, a good day. Uh, we're discarding His Highness's treasures from anyone who might steal them. Stop, they're not allies, they're invaders. Atta oh, good God, all right. Hey! <laughs> Night time! Look at me, Gorum! That hurts. Good. Oh, we found the kitchen. Hello, everyone. 
Just carry on with what you're doing. Nope, they're just dishwashers. All right. All right. Can we get out this way? Another secret door, secret wall. That's the area we need to get into, so... All right, obviously not. Uh, let's try the stairs. We should save this as well. Because I notice it's not auto-saving. Ooh. There, there. That's right, something over there. All right, let's have a look over here first. Uh, general's bedroom key. A lot of armor to sell by the end of this. In due time. Where does that lead? Right, so it just takes us back upstairs. All right, let's clean out the under. Now we have prison cells. I'm likely to find any treasure. But this is what the ghost is pointing. That was easy. Oh, hello there. You barely recognize the man sitting in the cell. He's changed much over the years since you saw Baron Hannes Dreville from the former reception in Restov. Once muscular arms are now thin, his pale, his skin pale, his eyes sunken, he's sitting on the floor staring at his hands. Uh, let's see what we have here. It seems that there's no active spells. However, you notice some traces of some magical aura. It reminds you of one that fitted in the chambers in the old sycamore where you fought Tartusio. One could assume that these traces were left by some powerful artif... Oh, okay. Uh, Baron Jalev, I didn't expect to see you here. He, his lips begin to tremble, but he doesn't lift his eyes from his hands. Just when you begin to sense this won't be getting an answer. You're too late, Baron... Uh, you're too late. Baron Hannes Duvel is... Oh, this is only my... Oh, okay. Uh, then I have a few questions for you. Are you dead? Yes. Uh, you dead and how can we bring you back? Oh, so if you're dead, how can you be talking to me? I don't know. Are you out of your mind? It looks like you're alive and well. Look closer. You see skin peel away from fingers, fingers... Rotten to the bone, this corpse has no eyes, no heart, no stomach, nothing. Smell it, it stinks of dead flesh. Uh, what are you doing in Irovetti's prison? The Baron Les Restov for Galenborn stumbled into an ambush. Irovetti slaughtered his people and captured him. No one paid a ransom for Baron Hannes Dravel. Then Irovetti killed him. How did you die? Irovetti kept a monster as a servant, a pet naga. Ooh, snake person. It assumes different shapes for him, but that's not important. He gave her a weapon, a wooden sword, probably magic. He told her to pierce Dravel when, uh, with it. When she did, Dravel died. Uh, does that mean a priest can resurrect you, though? A priest? Yes, a priest. Do priests resurrect the dead? Yes, perhaps. Uh... Uh... Okay, yeah. There's no reason for you to stay in this cage, uh, whether you're dead or alive. Uh, by the way, if you want to be brought back to life, just go outside, find the cleric uh, Dre Yanis, and tell him that Aurora Borealis sent you, and he'll help you out. Ah, yes, thank you. He can resurrect me? Oh, good. Thank you, Aurora. Perhaps uh, Baron Drev will live again. 
All right, and he's off. My talons are craving meat. Down he goes. Manticore skin boots. What do they do when they're at home? Oh. Now if we get rid of that amulet, we can give you a different amulet now. But I don't have a different amulet for you. Forty two. Got here. Newspaper cl clippings with urgent headlines decorate the walls. Terrible murder at the port. Uh, gargoyle suspected. Oh, this guy was killing people. He was a serial killer. The port ripper is stopped. Murder stopped for how long? Unsolved my mysteries. The truth about the ripper is hanging at the wall. Uh, right. Look ahead. Oh, all right. Let me save this in case Mary can't get the door open. That was easy. Good work, Valerie. Not Valerie, Amiri. It took her eight hours to dig a hole. All right. Oh. Hello there, sir. You see a translucent form of an old man in dirty work clothes. His grey hair is, uh, tossled. His eyes wander madly. There's a piece of chalk behind his ear. Ah, oh, free at last, at last. So many years, so many years. I waited for someone to open that damn door. Uh, who are you exactly? Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> How can you not know me? Shame, shame and disgrace. I am Redford Tabulous, um... Velestri Jr., the greatest uh, architect among wizards and the greatest wizard among architects. Ah, who do you think built all this grandeur, all these hallways and halls and arches and doors and doors? It's all me, my work. Oh, how'd you die? Oh, I was ruined by my own genius and other people's greed. I built an exquisite palace for the Queen of Pitax, uh, Delpha Lacenti. The Queen, that's right, a covetous smug bandit queen. She was unworthy of even uh, washing the windows of my palace. Of course, I wouldn't let her in. People like her mustn't live in palaces, but watch them respectably from afar. She killed me, she did. Smeared the sacred walls with the uh, blood of its creator. But even dead, I refused to abandon my creation. She entombed me here in this little room, killed me, then locked me away, bricked me in, and closed the door. Uh. So why does this place have such strange architecture? 
Strange, you say? Mm. You don't understand. No one understands. Philistines, narrow-minded fools. For you, a house is four walls and a roof to keep the rain out. What do you know of hallways, doors, the poetry of space? An alchemist's labor is sacred. Like the deeds of the gods themselves, building a house is creating a world in miniature. This palace is my confession, my treatise on the mysteries of being, my poem of grief and love, and no one, no one in the whole world is capable of reading it. No one is worthy of even approaching the threshold of my palace. Uh, has this creature finally finished his avalanche of words? Even death didn't open the eyes of the transients of existence. And the fires of pride. Should we not fix that? Well, now that you're freed, you can rest in peace. <laughs> rest? <laughs> By the nine circles, no. I really just started to live, you might say. Well, not exactly live, if you take my meaning. You know, as I've sat here trapped, so many so-called kings and queens, ordinary bandits, all of them. These walls never have seen a true monarch. No one, positively no one, has been worthy of living in this place. But... Do you know what would be worthy of living here? Well, not exactly, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I mean me, of course. I will be king of... Oh, great. A true ghost kingdom, and you will make the general of my ghost army as a reward for rescuing me. Uh, do you want to be king's general, right? Of course you do, of course. The beginning of the hunt. Hold down, you bastard! Holy shit on a stick! Alright. Well, let's get moving. Alright, so we got this one upstairs. Oh, hang on. There's more loot in here. I'm actually curious. Can I? I can. Let's reset our abilities. Oh, I smelled a lot of crappy stuff in my time. <laughs> in moments like this, I regret not carrying a flask of perfume with me, like so many other paladins of Shellin. It's kind of funny, actually. We're laying siege to the castle. Let's just have a little camping trip downstairs for nine hours. So we've, we've been digging. We dug for eight hours, and then it took us another nine hours to... Uh, 